Hello my lovelies, this is Simsfell and welcome back to Niche Wizarding World with the Spellbook Tribe Reborn. When we left off in the previous episode, the tribe was getting chased down by an angry Berina and cornered all of the females, even our pregnant Nicheling got cornered and we were afraid that the younglings were gonna get eaten up, gobbled by this monstrous creature. But lo and behold, a peaceful bear erupted from the grasses out of nowhere, I think attracted by the young apprentices. Irem over here and Imla and managed to scare the bear away or the bearina away. So that was quite exciting. Thank you, peaceful bear. Thank you. And I never realized beforehand what this peaceful bear could be used for. I used to think, hey, we give it sticks, but we can't really interact with it. What is its use? And I do know that it's attracted to younger nichelings like children. If you have babies and stuff, the peaceful bear will actually approach the babies and probably hang around them. And I was wondering why that was the case. And today, or the last episode, I finally realized what the deal is with that. The peaceful bears have so much attack that if a bearina or any other creature approaches a little nicheling child, then they will get scared away by the peaceful bear because of how huge it is and how much strength it has. A bearina, I think, only has four. So that is quite exciting. I don't know if that works with birds, but if that is the case, then our witches and wizards could actually leave their offspring with a peaceful bear or in the vicinity of a peaceful bear. And I think with the new partnership between species and mind, Apprentice Irim is going to offer the peaceful bear three nesting material. They do have some to spare. It's not like they're breeding up a storm, but that is definitely something she's going to do. Another thing that we were trying to get done is breed up males. We are desperately trying to breed up males because current, well, currently we only have three males. Uh, if we don't count the cursed niche thing we have down here, Daphras. We only have three males and we seriously need more. Another problem we have apart from the fact that we're just having girl after girl is that our food stores have dropped dangerously low and I only just noticed that in the previous episode. So the nichelings are gonna have to start actually finding some of these. Whoa, look at that. We have some fish. Wait, did we? Yeah, we just got like a, a, a deceased fish. Hmm. Okay, we these nichelings unfortunately cannot fish. So we're gonna have to see who can fish. No one here can fish. That sucks. Because nobody has a claw, they can't exactly fish. Hmm. Well, they need to start finding food. We do have toxic bodied nichelings, so what we might see is instead of having everyone go forth, we might have to start sending some nichelings back down this way to pluck from the toxic berries because that is uh, something we do not want to revisit from our previous lives, nichelings dying from starvation. Okay, another thing you guys told me was that Jail Brina is a witch, uh, I mean a master. She's 22 days old, she needs to get um, her little thing. So thank you so much for letting me know guys, she's gonna get her pink there we go, to show that she is now a master and she is going to be called Master Jailbreaker. Thank you for reminding me because I completely forgot about that. Okay, I think we're going to have Master Bainold and Apprentice Irem um, jump down here so that they can pluck from this berry bush. There we go. And young Irem is going to jump down and she can really move, which is an amazing thing on these nichelings. They're able to get away from danger, but we do need our toxic bodied nichelings to help us pluck from the berry bushes and make as much food as possible. And Sith doesn't have an... Was I supposed to be breeding someone else? I think we said Sith. B and C, G and D. I think Sith and Aliantla were a couple we were trying to breed. So what I'm gonna do, because Aliantla is quite a bit older, I'm gonna get Sith to actually get expectant with his child, um, but I'm not gonna have a give birth anytime soon. I do want to keep that on hold because we don't have enough food for all our nichelings to be giving birth. So there we go, we also have Takey expectant. We are uh, hoping for a male. Um, Healer. She's been producing healers. We have two currently um, after Ilfrak passes away, so that's pretty cool. That means the magic is living on. Quite exciting, quite exciting. Um, so we have that, but it would be nice to have a male as well. These females obviously have personat, but they don't have uh, personats in their recessive, so we don't want that gene to die out or anything. 
Okay, let's get our nichelings moving, shall we? Now, even though Daphras is cursed, he's actually super important to us in collecting food. He's actually been one of the nichelings that have made up quite a bit of the resources that we have available. He's kind of keeping everyone alive with the work that he's doing over on that side. Okay, well, uh, let's see who else we can get moving. Which rocker? Currently, we only have, yeah. The rock is a witch. Currently, we only have one apprentice and master, which is Bainald and Aram. And that's fine. They're going to stick together. Everyone else can get moving, that means, um, as much as possible. So let's get Bayquara, who's about to pass away pretty soon. She's going to jump, I think, here. Let's clear away some grasses. There's some food around the place, if anyone can hunt them. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of nichelings that have the ability to hunt. But hopefully, with the arrival of these new generation of nichelings who have horns, we'll be able to do that a lot easier. Ilfrank, I think, is going to let out a purse that he can heal up Jail Brina. Wonderful. And let's get you moving, shall we? I'll move Jail Brina up here. And Aliantla, of course. Okay, Ruzale needs to move upstream as well. I'm going to move him. Oh no, he drowned. <gasps> I didn't know he was gonna drown. I guess that was like a, a spawn tile for water and he just drowned. Oh my goodness, guys. <clears throat> we don't have a grand wizard. We don't have a grand wizard. Now I think the rules say that you decide the next grand wizard in line. Like the grand wizard normally decides the successor from all the masters available on his last day. But I think the way we normally always do it is um, yeah, well, we didn't know that was going to be his last day, okay? We didn't know that. But now that he's deceased, we need a master to take on the title. Let's see which masters we have available. Holy cow. Okay, we have 12 nichelings, everyone. We've got Master Jailbrina. Okay, Master Jailbrina. We have Master Bequara. Master Aliantla. Ilfrak, uh, the healers? I think the healers can be Grand Wizards. Yeah, the healers can be Grand Wizards. It's, it's not like they're a completely different class. It's just they're a different class of magic, which is unique to them. But they're the same as everyone else. They're in the Wizarding Circle. So we've got healer Ilfrak. We've got... Uh, oh, Sith is a witch. Master Takey. Hmm. We've also got Bainold. Huh. Where's Jailbrina? Jailbrina. Okay, I think, guys, because of the fact that Grand Wizard Ruzale, he actually trained up, I think, two... No, he trained up three nichelings. Oh, yeah. So he has three apprentices himself, which are masters. We have Aliantla, Banal down here, and then also Takey. I personally feel like out of all the apprentices that he has, and obviously he would consider the other masters as well, like uh, Jailbrina and stuff, I think he would maybe pass on leadership to Takey. Because Takey, she's um, had a wonderful um, relationship with Ilfrak and she's kind of carried on the healer lineage and the healer line and I think she's actually in that way helped out the clan quite a bit. And in the face of danger, she, you know, didn't back off. She kind of just laid down a nest. So I think she's done a great job, especially, I don't think she's taken on an apprentice yet, but uh, I think she's going to be the Grand Witch, guys. Grand Witch. That's right. We're going to have a Grand Witch, not a Grand Wizard, Grand Witch Takey. Ah, <sighs> how exciting. I'm sure some of you lovelies would be very, very excited for her. Oh my goodness. But Alien Love. He's actually going to jump ahead over here, clear away this, so that he can protect the ladies from any of the rogues. And this is going to become more of a difficult job because the only males we have are about to pass away pretty soon. That's not going to be cool because if that happens, how the hell do we continue the wizarding circle? This was not a problem I foresaw a long time ago when we started off with one female. I never thought that, like when we had Master Bequara, uh, who is pretty old and she's about to pass away in two days, but I never expected. She was the only female when we started off this tribe that we would actually end up with all females and no males. That's definitely problematic. 
but okay. The future of the tribe is literally in the bellies of Sith and Taiki. <sighs> oh, okay, let's turn, turn the day, everyone, and see what else we get. Oh, did you see that? The Bereen is nearby. The Bereen is nearby. So, Daphras might be in danger. But that Bereen came back and ran away because of the peaceful bear. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, who else has aged up? Oh look, Scoradel has aged up. She can obviously start using her healing magic straight from the get-go. I don't think we have any other children. Nope, not by the looks of it. And the apprentices, we only have one apprentice, right? I don't think anyone else is becoming... Um... Let's just quickly check. Which Raka is still too young? And so is Sith and... Yeah, I don't think anyone else is becoming a monster anytime soon. Daphras is an adult, which is great because he can continue collecting food and more food. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten by that Barina because he doesn't have any protection. But he's just going to go on trying to do what he's trying to do. Which is help out the tribe by gathering food. And we still don't have a whole heap. We need to keep working on that. Okay, let's get Banald. Oh, 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 jeez, I'm completely forgetting things, but whenever we have a new master, there's something important that we do. When we have a new master, we actually have to roll to see whether that master stays. Darn it, I don't have the rules with me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whenever we have a new master, we have to roll the dice to see if they leave or if they stay on the island. I think the way I say it is that if it's a one or a four, and if they roll to leave, it has to be within that master's. Uh, or that Grand Witch or Grand Wizards, the new leader's lifetime. So, yeah, even if they make the decision to leave, for example, if Keiki doesn't get to a port before she dies, then we have to roll again for the new leader to see what their decision is. But okay, Keiki, do you want to stay in this land? Which, do you have a lot still to discover? Or do you want to, you know, jump ship and go somewhere else? What does she think is right? Especially because she's pregnant right now. Let's roll the dice, everyone. We got a six. Uh, which means that they stay. So if it's a one or a four, it means they leave. If it's any other number, it means they stay on the island. So Takey is happy to continue the work of Grand Wizard Bruzel and establish a wizarding society in this island. Okay, wonderful. Well, I guess we should keep everyone going, but before that, we need to focus on food. So Daphris is doing his part, but he's not going to be able to sustain everyone just by that alone. Okay, Bainald, let's get you to grab this. Unfortunately, these niche things can't take out. Now, there is a Berina there. I don't want to make her jump too close. But I guess we'll have to jump her down here. We'll get Arim to grab that. They are in line. Yeah, pretty close to the current Berina. Hopefully, nothing bad happens to them. There is a rock protecting them currently, but that's not, that's not too much protection. Uh, hopefully, Banal's little poisonous toxic body is going to make her distasteful to a Berina and protect Irim in that way. But if need be, Irim can definitely hoof it, so that is okay. Takey has two days left of her pregnancy. Sith, you're going to jump here because there's, oh, there's food. There we go. She's going to gather some food for us. Okay, so the pregnant ladies are going to stay close to the berry bushes. Not the pregnant ladies, but the, um, um... Toxic butted nichelings. Okay, let's get let's get them moving, shall we? I think Sith feels much better. And Jailbreena does feel a little bit better. But I think I'm gonna get Imla to jump here and give out a little purr so that Jailbreena is healed a little bit more. Okay. Ooh, we need to get these nichelings moving, don't we? Mm. Okay, Bayquara is gonna jump here. He's gonna clear away these grasses. Nice. Aliantla. Let's see. I'll get Jailbrina to come here, I think. Clear away this and that. And then Raka is going to jump over here. Now this is dangerous because we don't know if there's a rogue nearby. Okay, Aliantla is going to be right next to her. Should anything happen, hopefully he's there and he'll be able to protect her to the best of his ability. We'll have Hila Ilfrak. Hmm. See, he can go into the water. He is fine to be in the water. He can jump up here. So we are going to take him out of the water right there. We have 
Scoradel, who needs to move. Scoradel, there we go, is gonna catch up with her older sister, Imla, very nice. Grand Witch Takey, wow, this is her first time with her title. She's gonna jump on down and then probably come up here. There we go, she feels great and is okay. Nice, I'm happy with how everyone's going. Let's turn the day, shall we? And I'm gonna keep an eye over here just to make sure that Bainold and um, Iram are okay. Has anything, who died? Oh no! Master Bequara passed away. Oh, I feel terrible. Well, she was one of the first nichelings that arrived along with Bruzel, but now she's gone. And I guess the tribe has officially passed on to the next generation. Hmm. Iliantla is from the first batch of nichelings we got too, but after he passes away. Actually, no, Ilfrak was as well. So after Ilfrak and Iliantla passed away, then we're officially gonna be with the second generation completely. That's crazy to think about. Okay, we need more food. Numbers are low, which is good for us because we don't have the food available to sustain a high population. So that's great. Bainold, let's collect berries, let's collect berries. Okay, they're doing good, great work over there. We'll have Sith collect berries here as well. And jump in this way, collect another berry. Okay, um, she can have her baby just about now and Takey can give birth as well. I think it's important for one of these ladies to give birth pretty soon, just so that we know whether or not we have a male of, like available to us. Hmm. Okay, Takey, I think, is gonna set up nest right over here. And we'll get Ilfrak to clear away that because we need to know if we have a male or not because we need to breed them up more if we don't have a male. So, okay, she's gonna give birth, but I think Sith is gonna wait a little bit. Aliantla, yeah, his, it's his last day. Not his last day, second last day, but still, it's we're running pretty close. Okay, Jailbrina, Jailbrina, you're gonna jump here. Clear away. <gasps> oh no, oh no, Jailbrina, I'm so sorry, honey. Aliantla, no! 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 The dark magic users have attacked again! Jailabrina! No! Jailabrina! He struck again! Darn it! He's about to die! The father of Daphrez has struck another female. And now Jailabrina is pregnant with a cursed child. Well, we have another cursed child on the way. That child is going to be sent down, most likely to the alienage, to join Daphras over here. Wow. Wow. This is exactly what we are trying to prevent. But we don't have enough males to bring Ruzel's policy into fruition. We can't protect the females and make a barrier if we only have two males who are pretty much at the end of their lives. But okay, Scoradel, I'm so sorry, honey. I feel so terrible for her. Which rock is going to clear away these grasses? Um, okay. She's gonna clear away that, maybe jump over here. We'll have young Scoradel jump here, clear away this, and we'll have her sister, most probably. I think we'll have her sister jump right up here. There we go. She wants to be near her mother at this time and her family. I think Scoradel's feeling a little bit adventurous because she kind of just recently jumped out of the nest. Wow, okay, was not expecting that. But let's settle down next to Takey and Hope to goodness gracious that she has a boy. Even if he doesn't have a person out, I just want a boy. Oh my goodness. Another baby girl. We had another baby girl. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Please give me a boy. If Jellabrina has a boy, I'm going to be so upset because it seems as though the cursed nichelings are coming out as boys. Everyone else is coming out as girls. We need boys. Please. Give me flippin' boys. Oh, okay, well, let's name her. Let's name her. I'm gonna look at my names list that you guys have helped me compile. I'm gonna name her Myhisk. Myhisk. I like that name. It's a cool name. Myhisk. Welcome to the family. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. This is so crazy. Okay, Sith, I think you need to have that baby. We're kind of juggling very dangerously between the food resources we have available and the children we can have. 
Oh my goodness. Daffers, please collect up some nuts. Make me feel better. Thank you very much. Yep, he's collecting up food over here. We'll get Irium to collect her food. Bainold is going to collect what she knows in that area. Bainold and Irium can't really move because they've got the resources here. If they move, that might spell disaster for everyone. He's going to try digging something up. Sith, Sith. I think Sith is going to make a run for it here and probably try setting up nest. Um, I think they'll break this nest. Yeah, the little baby is going to jump over here where she's protected. And Grand Witch Takey is going to get expectant again. This is Ilfrax, well, not final day, but almost final day. She's going to hold that child um, with hope. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sith needs to have her child as well pretty soon. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of drama happening. I do want to get over to this side before she has that child though, but I think that's going to be a deliberation for another episode. Anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.